Okay, cool. Okay, cool. After everything I did for them, and this is how they repay me? Two drivers' championships and a constructor's title. I bring them back to their glory days, and they let me go. I'm no longer required. If that's not power hunger, I don't know what is. It's William's loss at the end of the day. Time to go back to my childhood. Uh, it's been... It's been a couple of weeks since I sent messages to I sent um, my resumes to the various driving academies. Just waiting for a call back. Speaking of which, hello, that's me. Yes. When do you want me to start? Good to know. Thanks. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the newest member of the Ferrari Driving Academy. Here we go guys, it is launch day for F1 2019, launch day for the Legends Edition. Why the Legends Edition? Well, I'll show you why. Because I have the Legends Edition myself. And as you can see, That's my man for the multiplayer. Anyway, hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Bradshaw here, and welcome to the start of F1 2019. I've got two videos left to do on F1 2018, and that is the two final races of the Talk of the Devil Racing League. But nevertheless, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. So, here we go. We have a choice of 10 teams here. And all the cars are identical. So, all I need to worry about is the skill of the other drivers. So as you can see, these are the teams that are in Formula 2 right now. This is the one I'm going for. Reason for that. Time to go back to my childhood. Ferrari Driving Academy. Let's go! As always, 100% races. What are we gonna do with the AI level? Put it at 65 just now. Let's go. 
here we go. Third event of the 2018 Formula 2 Championship, mechanical issue. Ooh, stark choice, so what are we gonna do? Well, when it comes to sport, I've always seen myself as a bit of a showman. So, here goes. Bremer's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. Something's wrong. Butler sees his oh chance. No. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Here we go. I've got a turbo issue. This is going to be a few main problems. Right, so he wants passed. I'll let him pass on the straight. There we go. Well, here comes Luca Giotto. I intend to do just that. Formula 2 race distance. So the distance for the future race. Oh dear. Weber almost passed George Russell. Come on, Weber. That's how you pronounce his name. I apologize in advance. Whoa! Weber's now up into four. Now he's done. Weber gets up into third. Yes, come on, let's go. Pulling in on Russell. Good. Oh, 
That's gone horribly wrong. That's not gone well. That did not end well, ladies and gentlemen. That did not end well. There we go, that's another achievement. Second chance. We're going to take the flashback during the race. to try and reduce the no, flashbacks that I use. No, I should be okay. Should be okay. Oh my word, Weber's nearly in second place! in second gets in but Devin Butler still wins the race oh well second place I'll take it well second place for my teammate I'm gonna 100% this game as well folks I'm gonna get all the achievements So as they climb out of the car, the ART team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what went down the race was their ability. I to love At this every guy. They delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was the But hey ho. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to end. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. An amazing race today and a very well deserved one too. The team worked the team very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. That works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stand. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Alessio Lorandi. Very clean, very smooth. He can be really pleased with that one. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. ART moves to the top of the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Here we go. There you are. That was an exciting race. It oh, doesn't hello, got Emma. talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set Excellent. over here. Just a minute. Well, Remember, good to see you, you back. Anything to the press can go very, very public. So yep. be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. 
so Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Great, well that's everything. Okay, we'll leave to your questions. Can live with that. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Ooh. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm. And remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. Now you're going down. Devin but you're going down, son. Right, here we go. Look at them go! Devin Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact! Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no Ooh. way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Right. That's how Butler wants to play. No. Five laps to go, I'm gonna catch him. Oh, I'll make sure I catch him.
Zo. Won't do. Much longer. That will do. what I get for being a show off.
about a lap and a half to go. the line, fifth place. Woo! So as they climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. There will be a lot of cheering for today's win. Frankly, I'm amazed that Devon Butler only received a penalty for that collision only. But watching the rival he knocked out actually come back and beat him, that made this whole race worthwhile for me. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. The gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race for our championship leader. And now, Davide Valsecchi, <laughs> let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? My driver of the day was Nicolas Latifi. He did a cracking job yeah. of moving through the field, just showing why he's so highly rated. And now a oh, look at a the team stats. Kramer extend their lead at the top of the championship. There is also a strong showing <laughs> from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. It's a bit of an understatement. Well, that was a great recovery today. Did you think it was all over when you had the collision with Devon? Ever the so did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? <laughs> Appreciate your time. Thanks, Claire. Whew. 
So it turns out this F2 career mode is actually a scenario. But I'll take that. If you guys want me to do a full F2 season, feel free ah, to sound off in the comments. I was looking for you. Oh, hello. Well, what can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. I thought exactly. I'm taking my line and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. And then I'm penalized. I'm the one that got You're point leave damage. You deserved every second of that penalty. Maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at Why any am I not is surprised? your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. I kinda already had one, Lucas. But nevertheless, here we go. Just need to make sure that I finish ahead of Butler. We've had the feature race. Now it's time for the sprint race. Let's go. Start I would have wanted, but nevertheless. Hey ho! Drag race between Weber and Retro down the main, down the back straight, but it's with your Retro that wins. One. How about Retro? Smug face. Butler. Three. Oh, yeah. There's no DRS down the main streets. I think it's really tracked with them, but there's no DRS down the main street.
excellent. Now, what do I do? Do I take him out of the race, or do I do the gentleman thing and let him race? Do I take him out of the race, or do I let him race? What should I do? The drag reduction system, or DRS, opens a flap on the rear wing to reduce drag and improve the straight line speed of the car. Drivers are able to use this system in specific DRS zones as long as the circuit is dry. There are no additional restrictions to DRS use in practice and qualifying, however, in a race, the system can only be used when the driver is one second or less behind another. Watch the bar at the bottom of your multifunction display as you approach the DRS zone to see your distance to the activation point and activate it by pressing the DRS button when the prompt appears. Part of the script. I'm doing. Not again, Jack.
Now what I need to do is get back to where I was, as I was saying. I'm currently fourth. I now have to hunt Norris down, hunt Russell down, and most importantly, hunt smug-faced Mr. Devin Buckner down. So, lap 16. Seven laps to go. Let's do it. Great drive, that's great slipstream. That went about as well as I would have expected. Butler does win the title. All I have to do is cross the line. Points, but... He wants to play dirty with me. Two can play at that game. Smug little so-and-so. Here we go. Two laps to go. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> We're not making that up anytime soon. That is nasty. 
That is nasty. But again, I'm not concerned. Even if Norris and Russell catch me, who cares? I'm getting more points than Butler. Because Butler's not getting any points. <laughs> Whatever he is. Vader. One that personifies sportsmanship. Butler is showmanship. That's pretty clever. Lap of the season. Lost lap of the Bottles can be having some very sharp words with me after the race. But do I care? Of course I don't. Well, we've got a few corners to go. Kenzie Rexroll released by Williams at the end of their season where they won the Constructors and the Drivers Championship. It's their loss, but it's Ferrari gain. And Kenzie Retro comes across the line to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and wins the Formula 2 Championship. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. Here's our winner pulling their Prima into Park Ferme then. What a fantastic race. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. Yeah, it all. The rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head to head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. 
congratulations to our winner after an incredible oh, season. Now so then, Davide Valsecchi, yeah. who would you say was your driver of the day? It's a difficult call, but I'm going to give it to the Prima driver. They did a great job at getting the most of the yes! players without driver losing pace. The That's a good <laughs> skill to have. So then, after today's event, Prima have claimed the team's and championship. The and after championship all that excitement, well. I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. First of all, congratulations, you must be thrilled. It's an understatement. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? So that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? Wow, we've been hearing rumors of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Great. Well, that's everything. Thanks, Claire. Let's see what Mr. Smug has to say now. Mr. Not-so-smug now. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it'll ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah. We know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. So you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. i got to run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao. So, with this big win, you're going to be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Good to know. How amazing does it feel? Oh, that's a great feeling. Good to be back in Formula One. Your loss, Williams. Ferrari's gain. Going back to my childhood, not such a bad idea. Nice. Reputation bonus. <laughs> ah, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubters over. But mm. I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. 
Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. I think I'll go for this one. So, so let's have a look. They haven't won a driver's championship since 1951. They haven't even won the constructors' championship either. Well, I think all that can be changed. Alfa Romeo, say hello to your newest driver. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. So there we go, into practice. Something to prove, except a contract with McLaren or Alfa Romeo. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. Alfa Romeo Racing is the kind of team that other privateers aspire to be. No matter the challenges they face, this is a team that rises to the occasion and makes it out the other side. They need someone who can be consistent, resilient and determined. And there's no doubt in my mind that you can give them those qualities. So, messages. Yes, yes, yes. No? 1200 resource points already. Slightly ahead of Alpha Romeo. Need to sort out the aerodynamics. But. Hmm. I can't do anything right now. But I'm going to leave career mode for now. Because I've got a little bonus treat for you. This is going to be a good one.
Hmm. Hang on a second. Uh, yeah, anyway, I think we'll just leave it for the, there for now. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latest BCS notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Till then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. And as always, stay faithful.